at all the boys here. <laughs> Well, this is such a warm welcome from these boys here for a live at lunchtime. Welcome, everyone. Yes. Oh, goodness. You welcome. know, just, just when you thought it was a warm welcome. A warm welcome. All but, right. You know, who annoyed who? Buddy was annoying Tim. Oh, got it. See, Buddy is the attention hog over here. He wants all the attention. He doesn't want Tim to have any. Tim. Poor Tim. Poor Tim. But then he's going to come over and protect him. So that's Oh, okay. I see. Yep. <laughs> So it was just a little horsey, uh, get away from me, please, type of thing. But anyway. It happens. Yeah, it does. It does. So, hi, buddy. Hi, Danny. How are you? You were the only one that didn't get a little snack, so I'm going to give you It is funny, though, when... Uh because we do have a buddy in this we do. in this group right here. We sure do. So, welcome again to Live at Lunchtime. We are here. We're going to take another sanctuary tour because the last time we did it, we had a lot of people that really really enjoyed it. It was our nice winter walk. Well, today is our nice um spring, cloudy albeit, but nice spring. Yeah. Walk. So, we'll show you a little bit more of our sanctuary today. This beautiful handsome is Buddy, right? Yes. Hi Buddy. This is Buddy. He's the attention hog. Yes, you are. I'm sorry to say. And this handsome dude is Denny. Right, Denny? Yeah. Yeah. And this handsome guy over here is Plato. And Plato is not really grumpy, but he does have his ears back because Buddy's annoying him. Right? Say, Buddy is annoying me. Yeah, I see that. And back there, that handsome guy, we, as we know, is Tim. And poor Tim is the bottom of the totem pole, but he's very sweet. And actually, don't let them fool you. They all love each other. <laughs> they do. Yeah, because you all go out in the afternoons and play together. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> so let me tell you a little bit about these guys, okay? So we'll start with Buddy since he's uh, up front and center at the moment. Buddy is a gorgeous unregistered thoroughbred born around 2009. He was rescued in 2012 when a truck shipping him and other horses to Canada for slaughter was intercepted by police and we were pleased to be able to now offer him a forever home. Mm -hmm. So he is now here with us. He's about 14 years old and he's in the thoroughbred section called A Few Good Men. As you can see, there's four good awesome men. men in here. Good <laughs> men in here. That's right. And Plato, who's walking away. Hey, Plato. Plato, come here, baby. I know, Buddy steals all the attention, and you can't have all the attention. You just can't. Here, we'd be satisfied if you lick for a little bit. There we go. Come here, Plato. Come here, Bud. Plato has a very unique. Actually, both Buddy and Plato have very unique stars on their head. They both have a star marking. Buddy's is very small, and Plato's is much bigger, isn't it, Buddy? Yeah. Yours is much bigger. I know. How does that feel? Does that feel good? Oh, he's got an itchy spot. He says, oh, please itch that spot. Oh, there. You're shedding, too. It's spring. It's spring. When they start shedding, you know spring is here. Right, buddy? Got to get rid of that yeah. winter coat. So Plato here, he was born uh, May 16th, 2000. He's also a thoroughbred. His former name was Platitude. Um, he had a very consistent record on the New York racing circuit. He sustained several serious injuries while racing and ended up with a cracked knee, unfortunately. Aww. We took him to the sanctuary in 2005, and uh, he is now recuperated from all his injuries and now pasture sound and living his life out here with his men. So he's about 23 years old. And we'll move on to Mr. Tim over here who's waiting so patiently for some attention. Welcome back, Tim. Hi, Tim. If you want to look really quickly down, he's got such a cool pattern on his the bottom of his foot. It's such a cool pattern. I don't know exactly what you would call it. I mean, he definitely has a sock. But like I little, love the white, yeah. the, the black dots in between. It's really cool. 
You have a very cool pattern, buddy. He also has a very handsome star on his forehead. So let's read a little bit about him. Tim, his former racing name was Timothy Murphy. He's also a thoroughbred. Born April 14th, 1999. It's almost your birthday. It is. Uh, Happy early birthday, Tim. That's right. And he's about 24 years old. And he is the grandson of Triple Crown winner Seattle Slough. Here was over, he <laughs> oh. <laughs> was restrained and sent to join a state university equine studies program. He and two other thoroughbred geldings were consi consigned by the school to be sold at auction because they outlived their usefulness, which oh. just frustrates me. Um, we found out about their story and purchased them privately from the school. And now he's here and living out the rest of his days here. And then poor uh, Denny here is showing his backside to us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not his best side. <laughs> but these guys are so sweet. I love visiting these guys. They're just, Tim is like, yes. <laughs> you called, I come, right? Yeah. I know you're such a sweetie pie. You are such a sweetie pie. You are. I know. You want to smell my hand? Yeah. All right. Not showing us his good life. Denny, formerly Major Deegan, is a chestnut thoroughbred gelding born February 4th, 2002. So he's about 21 years old. When he could no longer race, he was admitted to a state university equine studies program. He sustained a broken coffin bone and had issues with his stifle, so in his foot. Mm. Um, so he was about to be dumped at auction by the school when we rescued him. So here they are. They kind of have similar stories. They all are, all of them are thoroughbreds. Most of them, three out of four of them have a star on their forehead, mm -hmm. except for Denny who has a blaze, which is fine. But they get along swimmingly and it's amazing to watch the four of them out in the pastures in the afternoon together. They have a great time. They do. So uh, you can see the gates are closed, but all that out there, that big pasture, they share it with uh, three other horses who we'll meet soon. So there's this big pasture and then on the other side is another corral and some stalls where three other horses are. And so they take their uh, designated times throughout the day. Yes with three other horses. That's right, so these guys get their afternoons in the big pasture, and the other guys get their mornings. big pasture in the mornings. Yeah. Right, Tim? Yeah. You're so handsome. Such a handsome guy you are. You're such a handsome guy you are. All right, my friends. Well, we're going to head on. Yes. I think Tim is going to follow us. Oh, Denny's coming along. Hi, Denny. such a beautiful day here. I hope you're enjoying your day where you are. It's like I said, it's not that sunny today, but it's at least not too cold and uh, oh, <laughs> And what a good day to go out because did you know that today is National oh, Walking Day? Right. So what a perfect day to take a little tour of the sanctuary and get our steps in. Absolutely. I know I needed some steps today. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can all take your steps somewhere today and get some walking in for and National Walking Day. And it's so nice to do uh, these mini tours as well because honestly we have such a large sanctuary, 140 acres. It would take a long time to get through the whole sanctuary. It takes away from the specialness of somebody coming it in does. and experience you know, experiencing it for themselves. And speaking of that, we are only about a month away That's from right. our first it's public open day of 2023, Sunday, May 7th. Yes. The public can come visit our sanctuary once again, and you can take your own tour of the sanctuary. Oh, we hope if you are local, please come visit us. We have open days once a month, and it is fantastic. You can view our full schedule on our website, equineadvocates.org. They run May through November. So plenty of opportunities to come and do your own tour. But here's a little sneak peek. So if you've never been here before, maybe you can be like, well, I want to see that one in person. I want to see him. I want to see her. So, and here's yeah, one approaching Mr. Connor over here. Very sociable. Hi, buddy. Now I did promise him he could smell the treats in my pocket. I promised him I'd give him a little, right? Yeah. Look at that yeah, beautiful, hi. like, red hair, kind of. <laughs> hi, handsome. I can't give you all of them. I have 
last. We have a lot of equines to meet today. Yeah, we do. We do. So this is the handsome Connor. Yeah. You want to look too? All right. Okay. Does that feel better? Huh? You enjoying your day, handsome? So Mr. Connor here has the most beautiful forelock. Flaxen forelock in Maine. He's just so cute. To me, if there were ethnicities <laughs> in horses, <laughs> I would call him and Jeffrey Mack the Irish group. They are. <laughs> I mean, Jeffrey Mack and Connor, mm -hmm. the reddish color of Connor here. I just think it's funny. <laughs> Jeffrey Mack, are you going to come visit? He said, no, I want you to come to me. We'll move up there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see him in the distance. All right, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about Connor here. That mane just blowing in the wind. All right. So... Oh, uh, we're not going to beg, right? <laughs> we are? Okay. Connor is a mixed breed and the son of a PMU mare, which stands for Pregnant Mare's Urine. We've rescued a lot of PMU mares in the past. And Annie, his, his mom, is on the other side of the sanctuary. She is still with us. She's way over <laughs> there. Way over there. <laughs> so he was born in the spring of 2004, so he's almost 19 years old. And he was born here at the sanctuary, which is what awesome, right? Yeah, this, been, so this has always been his home. So exciting, yeah. But uh, so he is a chestnut and he, he and his mother were both adopted out at one point, but they came back to us in 2008. And Connor is one of the kindest horses at the sanctuary, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Very friendly, very inquisitive. Yes, you are. <laughs> you want to smell the iPad? I. Hello. You want to lick my arm? Okay. <laughs> And he enjoys spending his day with his bestie. So, do you want to follow us up and introduce we can move your friend? On. Do you want to introduce your friend? Huh? Come on. <laughs> want to come? And that is something to note about what you said about how Connor and Annie were once adopted out, but they came back to us. So the thing is, right now at Equine Advocates, as an organization, we do not adopt out our residents. When they come in, this is their home. This is our forever home. However, at one point in the early years, uh, we did adopt out some horses. And unfortunately, under different circumstances, they all ended up coming back to us and so that is when as an organization we decided we're no longer going to do that this is where they stay forever which is good because if you know equines they like to have a forever home mm -hmm. that's important for them jeffrey mack now jeffrey mack and connor are both draft horses Jeffrey Mack has some pretty big feet. <laughs> Jeffrey Mack, what happened? You wanted to say hi earlier. What happened? Hi, buddy. And one thing that's very cool uh, at the sanctuary for people that come walk around, you don't have to memorize when you learn information about them. We have their bios all over. Absolutely. So you can learn about who is where. They all have their own stories and it's just wonderful. Just like we all have our own stories and backgrounds. Jeffrey Mack, are you falling asleep? Come on, come say hi. Well, come on. Come on. Not sure? He says, okay. <laughs> I guess so. Hi, handsome. Hello, handsome. Yeah, who's a good boy? That's right, say hello. So, every man, born in 2004, so the same age as Connor, about 19 years old. He's a draft cross, and also. <laughs> He's like, I'm itchy. I'm trying to, or I'm trying to reach you. One of the two. Yeah, he's trying to reach more trees. Yeah, you silly goose. So he, he's also a PMU offspring. Oh, oh goodness. We don't kick the fences here. Come on. We know better. Come here. Come say hi. Come. Oh, dear. Uh-oh, put that foot down. Put the foot 
down. Jeffrey, back. Put that foot down. <laughs> come on. Come here. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so he's also a PMU offspring. He spent the first month of his life, however, in a hospital and almost didn't survive. Oh. Happily, we recovered. He recovered, and today he's very healthy, as you can see. He loves sharing his large pasture. Oh, oh my goodness. My Unfortunately, we may have to move on because we don't want this. Well, we could turn around and say hello to somebody else that's waiting. We don't like that us. behavior. Come on. No. I can touch you. But we're not going to record. Can I put No. Hey, Michelle, is there someone behind me? Is there someone? I think so. Hey, handsome. <laughs> hello. This is the handsome CJ. Yes, you are. I know. You want something too, right? Okay, I've got to make these last. So I'm giving everybody tiny pieces. Here. I have some too as well. Hey, that's right. Hi, handsome. Hi, handsome. Beautiful dark bay. Very beautiful dark bay. And this is his friend Kip. You want to come over, Kip? Come on over. There's a good boy. There you go, babes. There you go. And Mr. Bandit, his the other pastor mate, is. <laughs> right? And if you look at CJ's face, he's got something really cool on his face. He does have some grays coming in that's getting a little deeper. But he has, can I see? One, two swirls. <laughs> right? Oh, oh, goodness. So we'll talk about these guys a little bit. CJ is a registered thoroughbred born March 2nd, 2002. In 2003, he was purchased as a yearling. And um, actually, purchased as a yearling for $100,000 because he has very impressive breeding. His registered name is JW, and he raced 18 times during his career. We have no idea where he went or how many times he changed hands after his racing days were over. In July of 2021, we received a call that a 19 year old thoroughbred was about to be shipped from a Pennsylvania kill town to a slaughterhouse in Mexico. Obviously, we intervened, and mm -hmm. he is here, and I just can't believe his story. His story is unbelievable. Unbelievable, right? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Jeffrey Mack is kicking his fence back there. That scared Kip. It's kind of a pretty unnatural guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about Kip a little bit. Yeah. So CJ right now is about 21 years old. Hi CJ. <laughs> <laughs> and also the attention hog, as you can see. Kip is a quarter horse, born around 2001. He was a horse for hire at a New York City riding stable that has since closed. He was rescued by a New York City resident who had ridden him there and she purchased Kip as the after she found out he was suffering from a disease called EPM. Protozoal myeloencephalitis. And he was going to be sold at an auction at Cornell, U uh, at Cornell University College for Veterinary Medicine. She saw to the treatment of this condition before retiring him this year in 2006. So he's about 22 years old, just a year older than CJ. And like I said, he can be a little shy, but he's a sweet boy, very sweet boy. And he's doing very well. If you're wondering about his health, he's doing well here at the sanctuary. Oh, look at that cute little greeting. <laughs> Bandit, do you want to come say hello? He says I'm busy. It's like it's quiet over here. It's yeah. quiet back here. <laughs> now, if you can see, I love when they move their muzzle like that. Look how he's moving his muzzle. It's so cute. <laughs> so we'll talk a little bit about Bandit. Bandit is a Pinto pony, actually. And he was born in 1998. He was rescued by equine advocates in 2001 from, believe it or not, a car garage in New Jersey. He was adopted at the time of his rescue, but came back to us in 2007. Bandit spends his days with these guys and they are called the Goodfellas. He's about 25 years old, so he's the oldest of the group. But they get along really well. Right guys? Look at that face. And me. I love Bandit's markings. Oh my He's goodness. got them all. He sure does. <laughs> he does have them all. <laughs> and he has nice full stockings on the back feet. Don't you? He's like, are you talking about me? I am. In a 
nice bald face. Oh, you're going to say hi? Well, oh, come on. Come on, my friend. Nope. He's going to wander away. All right. Well, let's keep moving because we have two very tiny residents coming up <laughs> compared to these guys. Just take a look at your He's like, if I stand nice and still, will you come back over? Oh, no. Oh, Jeffrey Mac, you're so cute. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. Oh, there's Bandit. <laughs> oh, now he comes over. Of course. <laughs> That's okay. We'll give him his space. Are they handsome? All these men over here. All these gildings. So again, this is the large pasture that these three share with the four we met earlier. A lot of space for them. Definitely. And look, <laughs> it was almost like they were having a staring contest for a second. They, they are. I think <laughs> They're staring won. over the fence line. <laughs> I've seen turtles. In that pond. Oh. oh, and we have a hair. I think I'm going to bring this. This is a hair. Oh, oh goodness, did we wake you? I'm sorry for disturbing your nap. Hello. This is Manny. And he's one of our older guys. He's a little old man. He's a little old man, and he lives with his little old woman, Minnie Pearl, who's peeking out of her stall. You can back kind there. of see her. She's like, hmm. <laughs> I see you. I'm watching you. Both are known to be a little bit more crotchety, I'd say. <laughs> and a little bit, they want their space. Uh, but they're very sweet, very cute, and they love each other very much. So they keep each other company here, and it looks like Manny's enjoying his afternoon nap. Yeah. So let me talk a little bit about Manny and Minnie Pearl. <laughs> Her mane blowing in the wind over there. Manny is a mini about 29 years old so like we said he's an older guy um he originally came to equine advocates with another miniature horse named sonia they were adopted out but had to be returned to us after 10 years in 2009 sadly sonia passed away on february 27 2017 but he has a new friend minnie pearl minnie hi minnie <laughs> she's got a piece of hay from like hanging down from her forelock it's so funny Minnie Pearl is a miniature, miniature horse born around 2001, so she's younger than Manny, was rescued by equine advocates from an upstate New York animal park that auctioned off over 1,000 animals in October of 2006. Minnie was in full at the time of her rescue, and she gave birth to another resident we have here at the sanctuary. You guys might know her as Minnie Kate. Minnie Kate is her, her baby. And Minnie, Mary Kate was born on June 14th, 2007. So Minnie Pearl is about 22 years old. Look at that handsome guy. Oh, we're we're oh. about to see a tractor come We're going to have to move up because <laughs> our staff is hard at work. <laughs> Moving all around the sanctuary. There's always something going on here. Stops. <laughs> all right, Manny, we're going to let you take your nap. I was okay? going to say, he's just been relaxing that whole time. We'll let him be. Look at his cute little hooves tucked under. Aww. So cute. And Hi, you might be wondering, okay, so we talked about Connor and Annie, how they're related. And we talked about, here about Minnie Pearl and Mary Kate, and they're related. So if you're wondering out there, well, wait, why aren't they together? There is a reason. A lot of it really is kind of like age. You know, Minnie Pearl is much older. She moves differently, a little bit slower. She's not as active. And Mary Kate needs to be with others that are closer to her age and on her activity level. Absolutely. And that's really the reason why parents and offspring aren't together those two pairs we do have some yes yes melanie and peggy right. here are that together. they are in another section of the sanctuary maybe in the future we'll do a tour and see them but they're together yes they are so it all you know it kind of depends on the situation but 
mm-hmm. what else I want? You know, just like we send our children off to college. You know, they have these things. <laughs> well, you know. No, she really, yeah, she, she's like, I'm good here. I'm good. I'm good. So we'll move on. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I can walk out like this all day. This is good for me. It's not too hot, not too cold. Does anyone have any questions out there? I'd be happy to answer any questions. Just continue to enjoy our nice, relaxing walk. We're about to approach Lorna and Bo. Approaching, we have the handsome Bo, and Lorna will probably come say hi as well. The Bo is very, very curious and loves to greet everyone. There's another handsome gelding with that handsome star in the middle of his forehead. Right? Come on over, buddy. cribbing collar and for those of you that don't know a cribbing collar they sometimes horses can get a neurotic habit called cribbing and what they do is they bite on things like wood and they suck in air it's really not good for them it makes them sick and that does not hurt him at all but it does help prevent him from doing that cribbing behavior yes Lorna we'll see if Lorna comes over but we'll talk about Bo while he's here right handsome want to put your head over here so we can see you we got a good muzzle shot right there. <laughs> Come here, Hansen. Come here. Come here. Step over. It's like I don't want to. Oh, there we go. There's that little lightning. Here you think, Hansen, guy. All right. So we'll talk about Lorna and Bo. Bo is an unregistered thoroughbred, about 20 years old. He was actually part of an animal cruelty case. Um, and Lorna is also a thoroughbred. So we've met a lot of thoroughbreds today on our walk. Yes. And she's about 23 years old. And Lorna has quite the story also. She was betray- uh, betrayed twice in her lifetime. First by an abusive owner and second in a kill pen. And um, we intervened and now she's here. And Lorna is actually named after a dear friend of Equine Advocates. What is going on here? You are drooling like crazy. <laughs> Stop drooling. I don't know if you can see that, but he was drooling like crazy. Can horses break their cribbing habit? I mean... I personally, I, I would imagine that they can, um, and I will have to find out that answer for you from our equine care manager, but from what I've seen personally, I have not um, seen any horse that has that habit break that habit on their own. Um, so that is a very good question. Thank you. Son. Hi, handsome. Yeah. And I'll, let me explain a little bit. Oh, here comes Lorna. Lorna is... Um, when I first started working here, which was about a year and a half ago, you could hear Lorna breathing from all the way on the other side of the sanctuary. Oh, it was so bad. It was so bad. Almost like an asthma sound, right? Um, so we had to, and we ended up having to give her an emergency tracheostomy because her windpipe almost closed up completely. So we had to give her an emergency trach and she is doing so well, as you can see. She's very healthy. She runs around like a crazy woman half the time. All right, girlfriend? Hi, you wanna have some treats too? Oh, Bo, you're gonna chase her away. That's not nice, you can't do that. Drooly, 
pants. Oh, he just drooled all over. Oh. <laughs> he drooled and the wind blew and it went right to me. Thanks mm. a lot. Thank you. Here, I'll give you one and let me give Lorna one. Um, here, honey. There you go, baby girl. She's a beautiful bay. And she also has a beautiful star on her forehead. We've seen a lot of thoroughbreds, a lot of bays, and a lot of stars today. <laughs> right? I don't think we planned that out we in this not. section. We like, this is where all the thoroughbred, the bay <laughs> starred thoroughbreds will be, but that just kind of happened that way. It's kind of funny. I never thought about that before. See what happens when you go on a tour with us? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Ansem. So as you can see, Lorna, you cannot hear her breathing. She's doing very well. She's very healthy and very happy. Um, she does still have, uh, I think what you would call, I think, correct, I might be wrong on this, but I think it's called a stoma. And um, we clean it and she's absolutely fine. So if you come to the sanctuary and you see that she has a hole in, in her neck, don't worry, she's okay. And uh, she's very happy and healthy, aren't you? Yes. Little nippy. <laughs> Little nippy. You're not nippy, are you? Come here. Huh? He's over there. He's not going to chase you away now. Yeah, he's not. If you come over here, I can pet you. You're kind of in a weird place there, miss. Yeah. Here. <laughs> Do I taste good? It must taste good today. You people are very licky. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> She's like, no, I'll just stick my nose through here. That's good. Oh, here comes Bo. <laughs> Can you tell who the leader is? Come to say I goodbye, Bo. Bo. I think Bo is the leader of the group, huh? Well, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in and joining us on this mini sanctuary tour. We hope you enjoyed getting to uh, some of you maybe meet, some of you see these horses here in this section. Absolutely. It was fun taking the tour with you, and we hope you join us for the next one. We'll see you next yes. Wednesday. Bye, Bo. Bye.